Hi, I thought I'd tell you about a new hobby I've discovered and the rather unsettling effects it's had upon my mind and my morality. At the end I will ask you some very simple questions and I'd like you to think very carefully about your answers. In effect I'll be asking you to judge my character, my morality and perhaps my very sanity. It began when I remembered an advert from an old American comic. I used to see it regularly. Ant farming. Here's the basic idea. You get two sheets of glass and a frame and put them together in such a way that there is a thin gap between the sheets of glass. You fill this gap with some loosely packed soil, sprinkle a little food on top and then place inside a small colony of ants. Then you simply watch what they do. You can watch them go about building their home, burrowing down into the soil, watch as they expand their home, digging new tunnels, new rooms, with obvious but unknown purpose. It's fascinating. I've always found ants to be very impressive creatures in terms of their ability to cooperate, the hierarchy of their colonies, their organization, communication, coordination. They're remarkable creatures. They're so old. They have been on this earth for 150 million years. Modern humans by comparison have only been around for a hundred thousand years. That makes ants over a thousand times older than mankind. What fun, I thought, to finally own an ant farm to live out a boyhood dream. How interesting it would be to while away the hours watching the ants going about their business. And at first, kind viewer, it was fun, watching them multiply, expanding their home. I spent many hours watching every detail of their lives at work, rest or play, doing what they had to do to survive. In fact, it's all I did, every day. They depended on me, you see. I think I started to love them. And of course, I wanted them to love me back. Such was my fun and my infinite love. I decided to extend the ant farm. Now, perhaps I went a little too far, especially in a residential area. But at last count, my colony consisted of 6.5 billion ants living in two tons of soil resting between 20 square meters of toughened glass with 10,278 high-resolution digital cameras scattered throughout the nest. This time I'd be able to see everything. As my hobby grew into obsession I decided to actually take a close look at my beloved ants. I began to take an interest in individual ants their habits, their behavior, their lifestyles. And I have to tell you, kind viewer, it was somewhat of a shock. Ants are animals. They do the most disgusting things. Their personal hygiene is less than sanitary. And when you look really close, I mean close, they are so ugly. Stomach-churningly, bowel-loosening,ly ugly. They fornicate in groups, they murder each other, have no manners, and the idea that they should hide their genitalia simply hasn't occurred to any of them. I started talking to them, begging them, pleading with them to just change their ways. I held up signs, banners, and even wrote tiny messages that I left at the entrances to the nest, asking them to repent. But nothing happened, nothing changed. I sat at the edge of the glass tank, in a spotlight, waving my arms, expecting that they might notice me, recognize me as the one that brought them lettuce every morning. But still nothing. Not even a thanks for the lettuce, man. It would have been nice to have a little recognition. I wasn't asking to be worshipped, as such, although I do give them everything. But a little acknowledgement would have been nice. But they could not see me. They could not hear me. They did not understand my words. And obviously this is entirely their fault. 
I don't know why, but this constant ignoring of my wonderfulness and my generosity made me angry. It just didn't seem right that I was the whole reason for their existence and their continuing existence, but I didn't get any of the credit. They had to see the big hand bringing down the lettuce from the sky every morning. They had to sense my presence, surely. So, I got some tweezers and a microscope and I went around the nest looking for examples of bad behaviour. And when I found it, I would make bad things happen to the particular ant concerned. A lost leg or two, for instance. I thought the others might learn from example. But they didn't. As cutting off ants' limbs is fiddly work, I started punishing them the old-fashioned way, with magnifying glass and sunlight. But their agony was too brief and the weather outside too unreliable, and there was still so much punishing that needed to be done. There were 6.5 billion of them. Matches and a cigarette lighter just aren't up to the job. So I built an oven, with transparent sides, so I could watch them burning. I should point out that it gives me no pleasure to watch their little legs going, their mandibles opening and closing rapidly, watching their body armour slowly vaporise. But what can I do? They're sinful animals. I have to punish them for being what they are. I'm sure you can see the undeniable logic and justice of my actions. I give them life. I give them everything. I can do what I like, can't I? Somebody has to do the punishing, don't they? I found that if I place them in an oven, heated it ex to exactly 110.8 degrees, I can keep them alive and writhing in agony almost indefinitely. It will certainly seem like forever to them. If only they'd listen to me. If only they'd try to mend their ways, ignore their inbuilt instincts, put on a few clothes stop copulating without any legal certification at all. If only they would do it my way. If only they could be more like me, or at least try to mimic my splendid perfection. I could show them peace. And, if they did choose to worship me, to make me their god, well, I did give them life, I do give them everything, it seems unarguable that I should be worshipped every now and then, don't you agree? But then, one day, I caught sight of myself in the mirror, placing another tray of sinners into the oven. And in that moment I asked myself several questions, and now I ask you. If you saw me putting a tray of live ants into an oven, if you actually saw me doing that, what would you think of me? Am I not right to burn them? Am I wrong to expect their gratitude? Am I not worthy of their worship? Is my behaviour not totally rational, totally justified? Am I not sane?